Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on in Raila Odinga's ODM party? What exactly is causing the split, the divisions among the ODM party leaders? Raila Odinga's succession, Joho and Oparanya axis emerge. Let me give you the untold secrets about all these issues. Recently, we have seen Raila Odinga going to different parts of the country to popularize the ODM party again ahead of the 2027 general elections because the popularity of ODM was diminishing. It was fading away. One of the reasons as to why Raila Odinga is very keen on resuscitating the ODM party again it is because there is a high possibility that Raila Odinga will be in the ballot again in the 2027 general elections. But even as Raila Odinga is putting more effort, putting more energy in ODM, there is something that is going on among the ODM party leaders that Raila Odinga is completely, is extremely worried about. So in this analysis, I want to explain to you about the mass workout, the mass resignations looming the ODM party. Among them, Joho, Oparanya, Junet Mohamed, and Ladama Olekina. And the person, the only politician who recently broke the silence about the secret truth behind all these issues within the ODM party is none other than the Mombasa County Governor, Governor Nasir. Hamna cha thamani zaidi kama uaminifu. Hamna. In politics, nothing is more vital than loyalty. Wengine wanasema ya kwa in politics Nothing is permanent except interests. Siasa katika hii Kenya ya watu kuchukua vyama iwe kazi yake ni kushinda kura peke yake. We need to stop this. In Raila Odinga's recent very active political activities, we saw Raila Odinga calling for an urgent meeting with all the Azimio top officials to determine the fate of Azimio ahead of the 2027 general elections, whether to make or break Azimio Lomoya One Kenya Alliance, because the split, the fallout in Azimio was exactly beyond control. And that is why Kalonzo Musioka skipped that particular meeting that was convened by Raila Odinga. Kalonzo Musioka skipping Azimio meeting signifies that Azimio is completely dead. And therefore, it offers Raila Odinga a green light to focus mainly in his ODM party ahead of the 2027 general elections. Basically, there are two possible reasons in Kalonzo Musioka's politics ahead of the 2027 general elections. Number one, Kalonzo Musioka will vie for the presidential bid in the year 2027. Or if not, we expect Kalonzo Musioka to join President William Samuel Ruto and support him. So I will not be surprised by Kalonzo Musioka's move supporting President William Samuel Ruto. But let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. Also yesterday, we saw Raila Odinga attending the PNU 15th anniversary celebrations. And I want you to have a look at this particular video here as I explained to you. And I strongly believe that that move by Raila Odinga was all about the political power play. And therefore, Raila Odinga is also considering other political parties to create a good relationship with other political parties so that he can craft a new political alliance ahead of the 2027 general elections. And the chief minority leader in the National Assembly, Honorable Opio Wandai, talked about Raila Odinga, high chances of crafting a new political alliance.
ahead of the 2027 general elections. But all about this is Raila Odinga preparing himself ahead of the 2027 general elections to contest for the presidential bid for his sixth time. But the biggest question here is, what is causing the split in, in ODM party? I want to explain to you, but before that, just a quick reminder, in case you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. It is very, very important because YouTube will automatically recommend this channel and in particular this video to reach out to others so that we can grow. To my returning subscribers who are listening, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. I've always said this, without your support, this channel cannot be where it is. And that is why I don't take the support for granted. Also, you can automatically receive the notifications updates. Immediately, I post a video on this channel by simply activating all the notifications in this channel. And you can do so by simply pressing the notification bell. Having said that, now let us go straight into the details of this analysis. The question here is, what is causing the split, the fallout in ODM? Number one, there's a group that is formed within the ODM party among the leaders themselves who are demanding that Raila Odinga must be on the ballot in the 2027 general elections. This particular group here is led by Mombasa County Governor, Ahmed Nasir, Edwin Sifuna, and several other leaders. Raila anaonesha ishara ya kuwa atasimama kura mwaka wa 2027. We are not asking, we are not requesting, we are not pleading. We the people of Kenya, if there is a better word, are saying we are commanding you to vie for presidency for the year 2027. Hatuombi, haturai, kama wa Kenya ya kwani lazima uwe katika ballot ya mwaka elfu mbili shirina saba. While on the other side, there are leaders who are seeking for Ray Lodinga's endorsement. Leaders like Ali Hassan Joho, leaders like Wycliffe Oparanya, who have said it very clear that they must be on the ballot. I want you to listen to Wycliffe Oparanya, what he is saying here. Oja ni muambie suruti nyuma. Mjue hivyo. Ata Mandela alifungwa miaka 27 na alirudi kuwa president wa South Africa. Wanishike mara 100 paka 2027 tuwe nao hao wa jamaa. Na wale akona nafasi ya kusimama ni weekly for better oparanya na kalondo msioka. So basically these two groups here the one that is demanding Raila Odinga to be on the ballot, and the other one that they are demanding for Raila Odinga's endorsement, they will not support Raila Odinga again, is what is causing the split within the ODM party. Number two, there is a serious fallout in ODM between Junet Mohammed and Raila Odinga. In fact, Raila Odinga recently threatened to kick out Junet Mohammed from his position. Let me read for you this article which says that why Junet Mohammed is under siege in Raila Odinga's party. It proceeds to say that Tas show cause letter with subtle threats to discipline Junet Mohammed and strip him off his post in ODM if he fails to explain why he has been skipping meetings for months, lays bare 
the troubles of Azimio leader's most powerful insider during last year's intense elections campaigns, raising questions about his political future. You can guess. Your guess is as good as mine. What do you think could be the political future of Junet Mohammed if he will be frustrated by reloading her in ODM? He will officially quit. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you think. Let 